he's in Washington because Congress is in session. Okay. Yes. Is uh, one of his staff here that he can speak with? Well, you can speak with me, and I'll also get his district representative, Dick Harkey. Okay. Thank Everybody, you, thank, thank you. you. our district representative and you can introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Horace Skinner and we're, we're here today because we want to present this broom and pan to Congressman Micah for, so he can clean up the mess as he put it and we want to get him working on a, uh, passing the bill, the FAA reauthorization bill for long term, for long term and this bill will help uh, working families and protect workers' rights. So that's why we brought this broom and pan here to present this to him. Well, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll and that's and that's from his constituents. Okay. Uh, we're with CWA, Communication Workers of America. Okay. And we just wanted to present that message. Now we also have Steve here that wants to talk about a couple of issues, and then we want to. Uh, okay. Um, we want Congress and Micah to pass the FAA authorization bill. Uh, this will fund three hundred thousand uh, three hundred thousand jobs, and there's no excuse for Congress and Micah and the House leadership to hold up this job creator over controversial, unrelated labor provision. Uh, the last time Representative Micah shut down FAA, almost 100,000 workers didn't get a paycheck, and the government couldn't collect $400 million in revenue. And he must immediately pass the clean FAA reauthorization. Okay. I'll relay that to him. Right. I'm a United Airlines flight attendant. Um, uh, it, um, AFA CWA, the world's largest union uh, organized by flight attendants representing 60,000 uh, members of 23 airlines. As a flight attendant, we travel on a daily basis to and from the nation's airports, and we have a vested interest in the continued functioning of the FAA. We also have unique oh, okay. insight into uh, both the consequences well, actually, and the root causes of the previous shutdown, uh, as well as a comprehensive understanding behind the scenes process that led to, um, so and will lead to another shutdown. Down. Let's be clear, this um, is not some and Washington and insider's game. Real people and, and real uh, families and good. real bills have to be paid. Um, okay. The Republican obsession with preventing airline and railroad workers from having a voice in their workplace has turned these workers and their families oh, okay. into pawns uh, in their political game. Using their position to leverage the ideological yeah. agenda, John Micah yeah. and the Transportation and in Infrastructure Committee, John Boner, Speaker of the House, and Eric Cantor, Majority Leader, are refusing to advance the FAA reauthorization bill unless it includes unrelated yeah, union busting well, provisions they would've, they would've that they inserted that, yeah, in the House version of the bill. Like For airline and railway union representation election overseen by the National Mediation Board, the House version okay. and the FAA right. would well, change the rules to assign no votes to eligible voters who do not participate in an election. If Chairman Micah were to be held to the same standard, he would not be in office nor would any other member of the House of Senate. There's a reason why every other U.S. election, ranging from voting for the president to voting for American Idol, only counts the votes that are actually cast. It is because that is the fundamental principle of a democratic system. Our position is not about stacking the decks for unions. It's about maintaining the basic democratic uh, principles of a fair election. The bottom line is that real people are getting hurt because of Republican political games. Congressional passage of a multi-year FAA reauthorization bill would avoid this senseless suffering and create 280,000 jobs. Representative Micah recently said that the FAA reauthorization bill, we can resolve this in one hour conference. The time to stop messing around is now. We agree with you, uh, Representative Micah. The time to stop messing around is now. Like most Americans, flight attendants show up for work on time. We fulfill our commitment and we go 
to the we go the extra mile uh, for safety and security of the flying public. Please defend us, depend on us to do our job, and don't leave until your job is done. We expect no less than Congress from Congress. Thank you. Okay, and do you want to leave that with us so that I can relate yes. to the Congress? And could we uh, get a place for a name and where he can respond to you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, if y'all want to put your name and email, if you would do that, and then we could uh, make sure. Oh, do we want to do two? Well, whoever Just would make sure like you're to not do that. Wind up on Dan Webster's list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, can you give us any sense of um, just Representative Micah's thoughts on this at this point? Well, basically, I'm, I'm just going to relay, you know, to okay. him your concerns. And I, I, he's already in the paper, I think, pretty well heard, you know, y'all's side of the story. So, from his perspective, you know, it's... The Senate made their decisions, and he doesn't necessarily agree with the Senate. Uh, so there's two sides to this, and uh, so but he does want to get it resolved. Uh, so from that standpoint, uh, it's just a matter of you know getting the Senate and the House together okay. to resolve the issue. But, uh, I realize there's a lot of you know, uh, concerns when you're a part of what, what's taking place. So. Hopefully, it can all be resolved. That's right. We need it to be. It's it's yeah. jobs out there. That's, that's right. We appreciate it. We appreciate the time. Okay. Um, I think basically with these three people, you'll have all the oh, okay. information that you need. Have you Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Do you, do you have a card? Yes, I have yeah. a card. Sure. But this is, I don't have cards when Mike is gone. Yes. Yeah. So, Sheena. Okay. What's your name? Sheena. Mm -hmm. uh, okay.